Hello everyone, this is Eddie Nelson again with Nelson and Sons Review. I'm going to do a review today on the Tableau over-the-air DVR on an iOS device, iPad, and iPhone. Here is the Tableau app here on the iPad itself. As you can see, it uh, looks very similar to anything that you get on the TV. Um, again, live TV gives you the whole lineup of all the shows on your the live TV app. Click the corner, brings you back. Prime time has all the shows that are upcoming. Click it, set it for record. Very simple. TV shows, just strictly TV shows, movies, just strictly movies that we'll be playing. And this is a first generation iPad mini, so it's still pretty fluid. It's a little, little jittery. Uh, it's an older iPad, so Scheduled to record. Again, has all your lineups there. Stuff I have recorded already. You just click it. Brings up very beautiful cover art. Very fluid motions. Really nice. Just like all Apple products would be. Click the play button. It'll jump right into your recording that you had set. And start playing from there. Volume control. You can pause it. Fast forward it. Jumps 30 seconds each time. You want to go back, jumps back 20 seconds. Um, you do have your timeline on the top as well up here. So you can drag where you want to be. You can kind of control it a little less than 30 than 20 seconds. You can kind of move it how it is, you know, just like a movie, like if you're playing a movie from iTunes or whatever. Um, you have closed captioning down here. You just click it. It automatically goes to closed captioning right away. Uh, full screen mode on, you know, zoom in, zoom out. Uh, press this for Apple Play, or AirPlay, excuse me. Click on that, Apple TV, it'll stream it right to your Apple TV. Push that and it'll say it's playing on your Apple TV. Um, pretty cool. Works really well. Um, haven't had an issue yet with the Apple TV cutting out on me, surprisingly. But again, there's the functionality of the actual app on the iPad. It's very, very simple to use. Very intuitive. Again, live TV. If you want to watch physical live TV, you have to click over here on the side and it brings you directly to it. And it gives you the timeline again on top. You can rewind it if you want to go back, however far back, play it, pause it, jump forward 30, reverse 20, and it changes up here. You can see the timeline change as well. Um, like I said, very easy, very simple to use. I highly recommend it. Uh, this is the settings tab. Got my free uh, 30 days free um, subscription that you normally would have to pay $5.99. There's my hard drive. Tells you what hard drive it is, how much is available on there, which is pretty, pretty good. Uh, the LED light on the front, I did have it turned off because it does stay on all the time. The unit does get it pretty warm. So I figured one last thing to worry about. With it on, it's a pretty cool blue. Looks pretty nice. Uh, maximum recording quality, you can change. I have mine set to the highest. 720, 720 for Roku or Chromecast or standard definition if you just want um, standard definition. If your TV is not that great. Um, Tableau Connect is the remote access. I have not got that completely set up yet. Uh, smart scheduling won't record duplicate showings. It extends it. I'm not sure on the length it extends it. I haven't tried that yet. There might be some more info online about that, but I have not actually played with that quite yet. Um, location, if you edit your location, um, you will begin scan channel. That's what this is one of the first options that pop up. As soon as you turn it on, plug your antenna in, it's going to bring you to this page. You can either use your current location or set your zip code and then begin scan and it pulls up all the channels available to you. Um, these are all the channels that I currently get where I am from here in Reno. Um, here's all of them here. shows you what definition they're in and the signal strength that we're getting. Channel 4 is a little weak but still looks pretty good. So it's pretty intuitive. The only other thing I don't like about it um, is it does not give you signal strength like an antenna signal strength um, like why you're using the app 
why you're using it like if you're on channel 4 you can't see your signal strength uh, from your antenna you just gotta rely on those green dots and that's it I mean once it's on it's on if it's on or off it is HD digital so it's either on or off so um, but that's one of the cool thing if it did have it would be great but other than that it is a very cool intuitive app um, again live TV once you're in live TV if you wanted to search the channels you know to see what else is playing there's no way to like minimize it like a YouTube app where you can minimize it in the corner it keeps playing you do have to stop go back push what you're do what you're doing go back and then um, figure out what else you want to watch channel 4 it does buffer for a minute um, if you have really good internet it, it's pretty pretty fast it does buffer it does take some time but you know it's much better than direct TV that's who I'm getting rid of as soon as I get all this hooked up I'm giving them a call I'm giving them the boot for sure so if anybody likes that please comment down below on this video and I'd like to see how many people are actually cutting the cord and going this route Seems like it's a big trend going on right now, and we should all get on board and get these guys out of here. The big Monopoly guys. So here is the Tableau on uh, four devices at once. I do have it playing on my uh, Amazon Fire TV at the moment. And you can see the Channel 2 is blinking red telling you that you're in it. So if I were to go to Channel 4 here, when you push on the side here, it brings you right into what you're watching. You don't have to select another menu. It's just like a little bypass, a faster way to get into the... Uh, showing itself as you can see now over here 4.1 is blinking 4.1 is blinking over here as well so if you were to go into just a standard click it in here brings up info record and now you hit play to play so clicking on the sidebar gets you just right in, into it directly a lot faster hit play there so right now I got this is playing live TV, this is playing a different channel. My Amazon Fire TV is playing channel two at the moment. So you can stream quite a few things at once, um, which is pretty neat. So if everybody in the house wanted to watch something different, you can do that without having anything wired up. It's all wireless. If you, like I said, if you get Apple TV or Roku or Amazon Fire TV in the other rooms, you can just stream it directly to that um, TV and watch whatever you'd like. So now over here we can go into TV shows, Let's go back into four there. This one will do recordings, start a movie on this side. So this is what's actually already saved on the hard drive. So you can watch that as well, takes a minute to buffer. Said I am having a little issues with my router at the moment. Apologize. If we go into five here. So when it works right, it works. Like I said, my router's having issues, so uh, it's kind of spotty at the moment. But live TV, recorded TV, another live TV here. And then my Amazon Fire TV as well is playing something live at the moment. So very cool, very unique. Everybody can watch whatever they want, whenever they want around the whole entire house. And it's all wireless and you just need the one box. Instead of having to buy multiple boxes like other manufacturers, it's just TiVo. I'm not sure if Channel Master does it. Um, so for the price, the four tuner, I got it on Amazon for $2.69. It was on sale. Um, and you pay the subscription... $5.99 a month, but there's the review on all three devices, or four devices I should say. Plenty of different things playing, very cool, very unique. I would highly recommend this product. Um, just give it a good look over. Anyways, that's my review on the, on the Tableau with the iPad. Please comment, questions, critique my videos. If anything you're missing or want to see or how I can give you any questions on whatever you guys like and uh, please, please subscribe to it, like it and share it to all your friends and I'll have another video for you soon. Thank you.